Hello and welcome. A new case of probability distribution, and that is an experiment of a coin tossing three times. The case is obtain probability distribution of number of heads in three tosses of a coin. That means a coin is tossed three times and getting head is termed as success. Obtain the mean variance and standard deviation of the distribution. Now, first of all, if a coin is tossed three times, that means there are three trials and the probability of success and probability of failure remain constant in each and every trial that we know very well. Here, probability of success in each trial will be probability of head on a coin that is 1 by 2 and failure is 1 minus 1 by 2 that is also 1 by 2. The possible outcomes in case of three trials will be four. That is, no head appears, one head, two head, and all the three heads. Let us calculate probability of all the possible outcomes. No head is actually possible in only one way. Failure in first trial, failure in second, and failure in third. So, the probability will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. That is 1 by 8. One head is possible in so many ways. That is success and failure and failure or failure and success and failure or failure and failure and success. First trial, second trial, third trial. First trial, second trial, third trial. First trial, second trial, third trial. So ultimately it is 1 by 2 cube 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 similarly again 1 by 2 cube and 1 by 2 cube so it is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 ultimately it is 3 by 8 two heads in similar way head in first trial head in second and head in third or Tail in first and head in second and head in third or head in first, tail in second, head in third. So again the probability is 1 by 2 raised to 3, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 3, uh, 1 by 2. Similarly 1 by 2 raised to 3 and 1 by 2 raised to 3 ultimately it is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 so it also comes to 3 by 8 and 3 heads are possible in only one way success and success and success head in first trial and head in second and head in third so the probability will be again 1 by 2 raised to 3 that is 1 by 8 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8. It is 8 by 8 or 1 because all these 4 are mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. Number of heads or number of successes are 0, 1, 2, 3. Respective probabilities are 1 by 8, 3 by 8, 3 by 8, 1 by 8. Multiplication will be x into p of x. First is 0, 3 by 8, 6 by 8, 3 by 8. So it comes to 12 by 8, that is E of x, that is mean. x square into P of x, x into x into P of x, first remains 0. 1 into 3 by 8, 3 by 8. 2 into 6 by 8, 12 by 8. 3 into 3 by 8, 9 by 8. That is 24 by 8 or 3, this is E of x square. So mean is... E of x that is 12 by 8 12 by 8 that is 3 by 2 or 1 by 5 oh, sorry 1.5 variance will be E of x square minus E of x the whole square that is E of x square 24 by 8 minus 3 by 2 square that is 24 by 8 minus 9 by 4 
So the variance ultimately comes to three minus two point two five. That is zero point seven five over three by four. This is variance. And standard deviation will be under root variance. That means under root three point seven five. That is zero point eight six six. This is standard deviation. So this is the probability distribution of number of hairs if a coin is tossed three times. Its mean variance and standard deviation. That is okay. Thank you.